Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Do you self-identify as a Pharisee or publican? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. We have an app, and it's everywhere. Search Higher Things Lutheran and you'll find it. And donate. Link in the description. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps the best youth organization on the planet filling the ears of the gospel, uh, with, of, of our church's youth with the gospel. Give today. Everybody knows that the, 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 um, the gospel lesson for the traditional uh, lectionary uh, 11th Sunday after Trinity, which is the Pharisee and the tax collector. Uh, remember, Jesus begins this when he, uh, he, told, he tells this parable to some who trusted in themselves and thought they were righteous and showed others contempt. He says, okay, so two guys go into the temple, one a Pharisee and one a tax collector, publican. The Pharisee stands by himself and prays thus in front of the church, God, I thank you that I'm not like other men. I'm not an extortioner, unjust adulterer, or even like that tax collector. A fast rice to wheat. I give tithes. Um, now, the tax collector is standing far off. He won't even look up into heaven. Um, and, but instead, he just beats his breast over and over again and says, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And Jesus says, I tell you that this man... The, the sinner went home justified rather than the other for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Now we hear this parable and we immediately zero in on the publican. We're the sinner. We're the good guy. We're always the good guy. We're always the, the protagonist in the story. We're our own hero. We see ourselves as that guy in the corner, not the holier that, than thou Pharisee. We are, um, we're, we are woke. We are, are conservative. We are um, pro-life. We are, um, uh, we're on the right side of all the issues. We, we run or we don't run. Whatever we do, we always are the hero of our story. And in the end, this usually gets preached, be the publican, don't be the Pharisee. And that ends with us saying, thank God I'm not the Pharisee. When in actuality, we are the Pharisee. We're being the Pharisee all the time in the way that we look down on others. We are Virtue signaling social justice warriors. Just pick the topic. We'll give our opinion and that opinion will raise us up while pushing other people down. We'll do it with Christianity. We are more committed, more kind, more loving, more on fire for Jesus. We gave our lives. We give more. We do more. We volunteer more. More than just the people who sit in the pew and don't do anything. We're actually trying. All of this is the way we exalt ourselves. And all of this is in, ends in death. The thing to remember is that if you put a Fox News mic in front of the publican and said, so, um, uh, Fox, Fox News here, because CNN doesn't care, Fox News here, would you, um, uh, would you tell us whether or not, um, uh, 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 are you the Pharisee or the publican? You put it in front of the, uh, the, the, the publican, he's just going to beat his breast. And if you tell him, you know, you're doing a little virtue signaling there. You're kind of, you're kind of sort of Pharisee about not being a Pharisee. He would just look up and say, I'm going to add that to the list of my sins that are confessed. Because when you're at the top of your game, when you're the best, of the best, of the best Christian, when you are the, the, um, number one contender, and only Jesus is better, you're still a Pharisee. And when you're the publican in the corner, when you can't even look up and look at heaven, you feel so bad about yourself, you're still the Pharisee. Because being a sinner means confessing that you push yourself up and other people down. The gospel. 
the gospel is that Jesus died for both Pharisee and publican. He lived his life for you, died the death you deserve, and rose again from the dead. And he has rescued you, even you, with all your sins and with all your failures and with all your doubts and all the times that you think that you're doing better. He saved you. And he has made you alive with Christ, even though you were dead in your Pharisaical uh, sins. And he's raised you with Christ to the very right hand of God, even though you're not any better than you used to be. And he has defined you as a child of God, no matter how you define yourself. All the labels that we use to say that we're something when we're nothing. Jesus has taken them all upon himself and died. And by his stripes, we are healed. And now he calls us his children And now he has saved us, and that is how we are identifiable to others by the name that he put on us, the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, whether Pharisee or publican. And if you hear all of this, you're like, okay, he's doing that thing again where he's, he's doing that thing again where he just allows people to just stand or sin their sins. I never said that. Confess your sins. Confess your your Phariseeness. Confess that you're even Pharisee about being a publican. But don't stop there. Receive his forgiveness and be saved. And then, then you will find free more good works than you could ever do. Not to save yourself, but because you have been saved. You'll do all the things that the Pharisee says. Fast, pray, give, but not because you have to. And not to win points with God, but to love and serve those around you. The Pharisee, repent. The publican, repent. We all need Jesus who died for all. I'm Pastor George Barker, and this has been another Higher Things video short.